Hi friends, it's me, Doris, and I'm really excited to welcome you to Basecamp today as we continue to learn about God's amazing power. Our Bible stories this month have shown us that God can do some pretty amazing things. He created us, He helps us, and He provides for us. In this week's true story from the Bible, we will see how God's power can help us make the right choice, even when we're in a difficult situation. But before we get to the story, we get to worship God together. So let's get ready to sing and dance and praise our amazing God. Only God can hang the stars in outer space. Only He can make a rainbow from the rain. Only God can part the seas to make a way. There's nothing He can't do No, there's nothing He can't do Cause He can do anything Anything at all He can do anything Anything at all There's no giant too big No mountain too tall I know God is powerful Yeah, anything At all, only God can hang the stars in outer space, only He can make a rainbow from the rain, only God can part the seas to make a way. There's nothing He can't do, no, there's nothing He can't do. Trust Him Well, what this means is we can trust Him Yeah, I know This means you and me can trust Him Because He can do anything Anything at all He can do anything Anything at all There's no giant too big too tall I know God is powerful Yeah, anything He can do anything Anything at all Anything 
construction on our street. Yesterday, we saw an excavator. It looked just like this, but way, way, way taller. See how the arm can go back and forth? It's used to move things from one side of the road to the other. I'm using this to move the pom-poms from this pile over to the bowl. Would you like to play with me? Let's do it. What color should we choose first? Okay, a red one? Here we go. Beep. We did it. Should we choose blue or yellow next? Let's go with blue. Pink. This is so fun. Who? Who? It's Holly. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Choosing different colors, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. We're playing this cool game where you get to pick a color of pom-pom and move it to the bowl. It can be fun to choose red or blue. I know someone who had to choose, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through, follow me through. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. I'm Aisha. It's so good to see you today. I've been working on making the most amazing treats. Do you want to see them? Ta-da! <laughs> they are my superfood veggie cakes filled with apples, zucchini, and oats. Mmm, mmm, healthy and delicious. I made them special because of today's story. If you're ready for it, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with the king of Babylon who had a very long name. Please welcome King Nebuchadnezzar. Now the king had a training program because he wanted the people working for him to be the very best and he chose these guys to be in it. He wanted them to study and learn new things. He even wanted them to have all the fancy food and drink right from the king's table. But that was a problem for this guy. This is Daniel. Daniel loved and followed God. Back then, God had rules about what his people could eat. That means Daniel would have to say no to all the fancy food and drink on the king's table. That means Daniel would have to say no to the king. And people didn't usually say no to the king. But guess who had the power to help Daniel make the right choice? Yes, God! God has the power to help all of us make the right choice. And that day, God helped Daniel to make the right choice and follow God's rules. Daniel made the choice to only eat vegetables and drink water. Daniel told the king's servant that he didn't want the king's food. He only wanted to eat vegetables and drink water. No one knew what would happen when the servant told the king Daniel wasn't going to eat his food. But the king said, okay, <laughs> hooray! 
<laughs> wow, God is so powerful. He helped Daniel make the right choice and he wants to help us make the right choice too. Sometimes it can be hard to make the right choice. You can ask God to help you make the right choice and leave your uncle's guitar alone, even though you really want to touch it. You can ask God to help you wait when you really want a cookie before dinner. God can help you be excited for your friend when they get a new bike instead of being sad because you didn't get one. When we ask God to help us, He will. God is so powerful. He can help us make the right choice. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God helped Daniel make the right choice, and God's power can help us make the right choice too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God's power helped Daniel. God's power helps us make the right choice too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Now it's time to choose the next pom-pom. What color should it be? I'm choosing green. See you next time. Isn't that incredible? Daniel knew he shouldn't eat the king's food, even though everyone else around him was doing it. Daniel trusted God, and God gave Daniel his power to make the right choice. And you know what? He wants to help us make the right choice, too. We can always turn to God and ask him to help us. Okay, now before we go, let's practice our memory verse together. Are you ready? Great is our Lord and mighty in power, Psalm 147, five. That was awesome, friends. Okay, I'd love to pray together now. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you that you are always with us. Thank you that you give us the power to help us make the right choice. Please help us to keep trusting you in all that we do. We love you, amen. All right. Thanks for joining us in Basecamp today. We'll see you next time. Bye.